here to stand in solidarity with Shukri Abdi's family. And it's a year today that it's a year since the anniversary of her death. So we're here to demand justice for Shukri, kind of um, get some accountability for the way that she has been treated and how everything has been handled. Shukri Abdi came here as a refugee about three to four years ago. She came in 2017 for a safer life and a safer space and she wasn't met with that. So that's why we're here to kind of demand the answers. Shukri Abdi is a black child. I am a black woman. There are people who are within Wales who are affected by this. Shukri Abdi was part of the Somali community. She could have been my little sister. She could have been my niece. So this has affected us personally. And the fact that there's been no justice whatsoever, we should have answers within the UK. Applying pressure works. So to apply pressures from all the way from Cardiff, all the way to Liverpool, all the way to London, is very, very important. There are things that we can do in um, Cardiff, so these are one of the things that we want to do, kind of stand in solidarity with Sugri Abdi's family and show that there is public interest within the Sugri Abdi case. We face racism within the UK sometimes on a daily basis. Fighting for our lives and fighting for black lives is very important. The fact that people are willing to come out and speak about their rights and, rights and speak about my life. It shouldn't happen, unfortunately, but I'd, I'd rather social distance and come to protest than just stay quiet. We want justice for Shukri. It's been a year. This is a young girl who we all know have suffered bullying, not only that, but actually the justice system has failed it as well. So what we're calling out is justice for Shukri, for her family, and for all black people around the world.